Just arrived in Offensboro, Kentucky. We're unloading real quick. In front of the hotel. Let's check out the other contestants who are also gathering across the street. tantalizing episode or are they gonna make it Museum in Alabama. No. Okay. You see that dent? Yeah. They were going down Mount Washington, and these two old guys in a Buick lost their brakes. So they went blowing by them, went up on the side, rolled over on the side, skidded, went back on its wheels, and then this guy cut in front of them to stop them. Oh, wow. So this is like a hero car. So they wear that with the badge of honor. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a video of it on YouTube. Look up Mount Washington uh, Lost Breaks. Wow. See it. Thank you. That's yep. a good bit of info yep. there.
rock. Now when we turn around and go home, basically. That, I mean, we can, so we'll go up to uh, 4 minutes 52 seconds. Go up to the Kentucky 142 side. 50. 50. Stay 50 on the dock. Done this before. This is our first time. I know. I wish you well. Franklin's a really rare find. It is. I didn't even know what it was when my friend told me like that's what they're taking. It's his dad's car. And I was like, I'll be you know on your team, but I'm like, what's a Franklin? You know? Uh you you're in the crew. Yes, I'm the support crew. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you guys have made lots of plans and yeah. you have day two or three it breaks down. What do you do? Oh, we have a trailer, yeah. and then we just... And, and actually, the car is going to Connecticut. That's where it's going to live. So even if something happens along the way, we're still going to... You're going to go. Uh, yeah. you got a plan. Yes. Yeah. There is a plan. Yes, Good sir. luck with that. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Indiana, Indianapolis. So. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to Owensville. Well, thank you. You know, you can get back across the river. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's just only over there. If you, if you throw me hard enough, I'll make it. How do I find out who completes the race? Oh, it's on the website. If you go to okay. greatrace.com, I think they're posting sure. results for every leg and, and stuff. Yes. Do that, yeah. I know, right? It's amazing. You can't have a cell phone in the cockpit. I know, no, yeah, it's against the rules, exactly. Um, Franklin? You can see if you get text messages. No. No, not on this one. This analog, only analog watches. Oh! Yeah, they don't even want you to have nothing. Man, yeah. Tired. Yeah. I'd be fine. Yeah, you'd be fine. You'd be alright. Is this a Franklin? Yeah, it's a Franklin, yes. But not air cooled. Cool. This is air This is no, this is air cooled. It is air It is air cooled. No hoses, no nothing. So okay. as long as it's running, it's just pushing I think air. Towards the end, they did have. I, I believe so, but but this one is a it's called the Airman. So you got the it's Franklin the Airman, Airman 30, 31. 31. Y'all ready? That's right. That's right. It's the crew.
CJ Noizu from Indianapolis, Indiana is driving. Bob Noizu from Canterbury, Connecticut is navigating. And 1931 Franklin. They're in the rookie class now. If you've never seen a Franklin join the club because this car, they were explaining to me, and I still don't understand it. But this car actually is air cooled, no belts, no hoses, no radiator. This is, as they sit here, it gets hot when they drive, it cools down, fellas. They got the sign there, thanks Owensboro. It is a beautiful car. One of those cars that probably should be in a museum. The team Mystic Knights of the Sea. When you guys hear the beat of the horn, you're going to start your race. Good luck. We're going to see if I can catch them coming in and uh, show you guys. This is the first stop. So this is about 220 miles from uh, Almondsboro. So, we'll see. No right. hoses, no need for it. It's air cooled. Pretty spectacular example here. CJ Ball, bring it in, park the car. It's not running hot because it's at least not leaking antifreeze. Welcome, fellas. How'd it go? The car ran great. The driver ran great. The navigator, not so much. <laughs> Time's not so, so let's good. Let's see, how'd we do? We were late, early, late, early, early. So it was a good mix. Looks like our best one was 13, even 13 seconds early. And we were coming back 26 seconds early at the last one. There we go. Start. It's 125 tomorrow.
you got today's paper? We got today's paper and today's emergency instructions. Emergency, which say things like the road name may be Bremen. May or may not be there. So how are you guys feeling? We got about like 250 miles today or something like that? Probably. Yeah. Not as hot as yesterday, but it is a little humid. Yeah. Hopefully we can fend off this rain. Hopefully keep it an hour ahead of us. Yes. That would be good. It was raining this morning, but it looks like we kind of... My dad's got his heat board out. Yes. Clocks, calculators, more clocks. Speedometers, instructions, numbers. Hard. So today we have 23 pages of instructions. So let's make sure we got them all. One, 16 two, to 23. Three. Yeah. Four. We're gonna be late, Buck. <laughs> We're gonna be late to dinner. Don't wait up. We're leaving late too. Real late. Yeah. So we'll be getting in late. They go Marietta, Ohio. That bad i mean none of them were way off the money i mean the worst the worst we had a 34 and a 36 but individually they weren't horrible also it was pouring rain like but we were we were early every time 
So what does that mean? What do you think that means? So you think is the the timer, or you guys going just driving too fast? Or we, I I think probably what did it was we weren't pausing long enough at the stop signs. So I'm looking at this, like none of our times were horrible, and everyone was early. So if we drive tomorrow like we did today, I think we want to just pause like an extra second or two at every stop sign. However, we were pausing at a second or two. Talk to me, fellas. What's going on? We made it. I know. I know. Dude, we're driving to those mountains and those freaking up and down hills and stuff. Yeah, this place is packed, so they're kind of introducing everybody, so we're just waiting out here. I'm glad you made it, man. That was, uh, that was probably the roughest one to date, huh? Oh, yeah. Go to dinner? No. <laughs> we're waiting on you. Starving. Hi, sir. Nice to meet you. you. He's more of a sport. I'm emotional sport. More, okay. Yeah. I like it. Well, would you look at that? That is yeah, from 1930 with a Detroit 4-speed. I think ours has been made or modified or, yeah, those over the years. Um, yeah, but it was welded. Ours was welded, so. Yeah, pull it out and line them up. Two paper cuts. Yeah, I mean, 49 inches, 49 inches. That was welded. Okay, yeah, Frank, yeah, somebody welded. edited it, yeah. Well, we found out is the that two is. and a half inch tube was uh, on different, like the series 153s or something. Oh, right, yeah. And, um, I mean, it's, yeah. That's gonna work perfect. Yeah. Is it a t-shirt? It is. Yeah. So, it's going home. And he still does. He must be like 136 years old. <laughs> yeah, he is. I think his, his um, powers, and they had a little museum in Connecticut. Mm. And he had an 03, and I think he's been shown, I can't remember his first name, but anyway, I think his son now has it. Mm. Um, 1910. So the, the uh, Indians been out in Minnesota. Speedster, we bought um, a 30 uh, from Howlsey. Oh, I don't know, almost 10 years ago now. This is really cool. And the difference between a 30 and 31 is the flips, right? Yeah, so 30 had those horizontal louvers. I like those. The, the 31s had, well, depending on what 
Model 31, they had the, the doors like this. Yeah, ours has got the doors on Yeah. And then some of them, the early ones, they, this door was missing. So it was only like three. Yeah, that's what we have. Three. three. Three, yeah. New spare dry shaft installed, and we're rolling. We're gonna go ahead and get a trailer it to the next stop, but from there we should continue to race. Triumphant re-entry at Gettysburg. Drive shaft holding. So new car, new drive shaft in this car. They're rookies coming through for the first time. I'm glad you made it. It's been a long day, you guys. over here in the 1963 Mercury Comet. They're out of Jacksonville, Florida. Back, uh, an Impala in 6456 was a sport coupe. That's a Honda Civic today and a pretty rare bird over here. Yeah, so this one right here, Team 74, David Doyle and his lovely wife, Barbara. I don't know if you guys know, but the Franklin was built just down the street from here. It was? Yeah, yeah, just a little trivia, that's all, you know. How did you guys do with the... I the spokesman was for the company. I know, I don't know who the spokesman was. That's a good you question, too. Want to play again tomorrow? We're gonna try. Why not? Why not? You order a then you can come back. <laughs> how, the wi how the wipers working out? With the band inside Still work. Popcorn, beer, cider. And this is what the rescue crew's got to endure. 
Yeah, we're roughing it here, buddy. Yeah. Somebody's got to work for a living. That's right. Somebody's <laughs> got to look after those guys. <laughs> How's the new dry shaft doing? Any vibration? Any strange vibrations or anything? It's always strange vibrations. I know. <laughs> All we need is a positive vibration, man. So what are we looking at? So we were late, early, late, early, early. So 39, six seconds. So that was really good for us. For us, it's really good. 24 seconds late, six early, and 19 early. That's not bad. So actually, it was, I think, one of our better days. This is a pretty good day. It was a good day for us. some special guests for you here tonight. Ah, uh, yeah. See what that is right there? Fender lines, I think it's just a really neat car, underappreciated. A motor can be built perfectly well, 360 degrees, many years and... A booklet? Yeah. For all the drivers? That's crazy. I didn't know that. There's CJ. There's Bob. You, you, you want autographs or something? Well, come on over. Then come on. Hey, CJ. You got a sign? Oh, there you go. be worth millions one day. Yeah. Where do you want me to sign it? Thank you. You, you want to get Bob too? Okay. Yeah, there's Bob. Hey, Bob. This young lady needs an autograph. For me? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if I got to talk about it with you last night, but I got behind Loring yesterday. Just and what's your for name? 10 minutes. We intersected. I was not on the course for There's an E-type broke down on 95 right now. Uh, but they made it through the day, so if they can get going by the morning, they'll be all right. They have told us that this car weighs in at a we're not sure if that's before or after lunch, but it's 1980 pounds. Pretty, there we go. Pretty neat. There it is. Oh, that really cool little hot rod here, man. This is the original recipe. Get them on layout. Do all this stuff. Doing okay? Yeah, so far so good. It's a running. She's a running. Fresh start, fresh board. Here we go.
Welcome to uh, Maine. Right. We made it. Yeah. Then we had the problem there. Um, that one turned out pretty good. Just shows you, you never forget though. <laughs> we had three legs. Congratulations.
yesterday? It's amazing what happens when you don't miss turns. <laughs> 22? 22 seconds. That's a good number. We have a third place in rookies today. Third place in rookies for today. One, two, three. We are third place in rookies today. Uh, really? There you go. There you go. The old Franklin did it right. <laughs>